Hey, what's going on, guys? You know, I was just talking with my uh, with my buddies, and he was bringing up one of my great friends from uh, from school. His name's Bones. That's what we call him, at least in Sotmo, He's a, which is a fraternity I'm a part of at school. It's great. You know, I was thinking about Bones, and it just got me thinking. I mean, I, it was just a, literally just a brief second. It was a brief second that I thought about it, but it started me thinking about just friendships. And I thought I would just share my thoughts about it. You know, friendships, I would give almost anything for my friends. And I'm not talking about fake friends who like you because of your money or what phone you have or what you wear or where you grew up or what country club you went to. You know, I, I there's a guy at a camp I worked at, and he said when people come to be come part of his fraternity, some fraternity in Alabama, he said they asked him two questions. What kind of car does he drive and what country club is his parents a member of? You know, if that was the measuring stick for me, not only would I have no friends, I would probably become nothing in life. I mean, if everywhere I went for a job asked me what kind of car I drove or where I shopped, and they were looking for some kind of answer that was anything but, hey, I'm just a guy. You know, I'm flawed. I screw up. You know, I shop at Tar you know, I shop wherever. Sometimes I go to Target. I think they have great stuff there. You know, I, I have a crappy phone because it's cheap and I don't know what you want me to do. You know, and, and I'm blessed in a lot of ways because, you know, I do have some of those things. But, man, those things are definitely not what gets me my friends. You know, when I think of my friends like Jared, you know, my friends like Handsome Joel, Johnny P, my buddy Tony, who's like a brother to me, Kenyon, Walker, you know, a couple guys I went to high school with that I'm just, I just love like family. You know, when I think of them, they could care less. And they've proven it because I never had, I didn't always have an iPhone. No one always had an iPhone. And I didn't always dress nice, you know, I think I have my mom and various, you know, girlfriends I had to thank for that one. You know, I didn't always talk right or make the, the cleanest jokes. I didn't always, you know, say the, the smartest things. You know, sometimes I was pretty foul. Sometimes, sometimes I'm still foul. But, you know, sometimes I was really foul. And I did not care what people thought. But, uh, and sometimes I rejected my friends. Sometimes I wasn't a great friend to them. But you know what? They never rejected me. They loved me. They were always there for me. So when I sit there and I'm thinking about friendships, I'm thinking about, man, you know, I want to be the kind of friend that one day my friends could say about me, you know, I'm the guy who's always there for me. I mean, I, I would do anything for my friends. Friendship is very, very important. You know, Jesus, he was friends with his disciples. You know, in John 1, he says, dear friends, let us love one another because love comes from God. Anyone who does not love does not know God because God is love. I mean, Friendship is that important that John wrote about. It. I mean, John had to take minutes out of his day, you know, seconds out of his writing, to say that, hey, guys, this is so important that I am going to write it in what will be the Bible, and I want you to connect with this. Because if you don't connect with this, if you miss this big point, then you, in some ways, missed all the points. Because if you don't love, you don't know God, because God is love. You know, friendship is one of those points that if you miss that, you've almost missed it all. Be as connecting, loving one another, friendship, community, you know, uh, networking, being social, whatever, however you want to word it. Those are all the same ways of saying one thing. Repackaging it, it, it just, you know, reforming it, redesigning it. It's all the same, different way of saying the same thing. And that is that God loves friendships. God loves friendships. God loves us having friends, being connected to one another. God loves us loving each other. I want to be the guy that loves one another. I want to be the guy that loves each other. I want to be that guy from now until the end. I want to be that guy. And I pray every day I can be that guy. And sometimes I screw up. Sometimes I'm not a great friend. Sometimes I gossip. You know, everyone gossips. You say you're not a gossip, you're a liar. So some people are liars. So... I'm never going to get it perfect, but you know what? I'm going to try my hardest, and, uh, and I hope you guys are trying your hardest too. All right? Have a great day.